what's up guys and welcome back to the millennial man cave it is jeff in the house solo again because chef tom obviously is still on his honeymoon so you're gonna be seeing a lot of your boy by himself for now just holding down the fort until the chef gets back all you know comfy and and rested and and, and feeling good and stuff and and i'm still here i'm just playing with you guys man so we are getting into some Madden 19 action because you guys know we started the franchise, which means you guys also know that we did us some fantasy drafts. If you haven't checked out that video, go see it because the new franchise with me and Chef Tom and Polar Bear Steve, it started. It's live. The team is there. They look great. We're really excited. But you're probably wondering right now, Jeff, why are you in another franchise? I'm seeing an offline pick a team situation here. So what is it? Well, you guys just so happen to love watching Jeff Millennial so much that I'm bringing him into some Madden 19 action. So the first question is, what team is Jeff Millennial playing for? Well, because there's no drafting or anything of the sort like there was back in the day, we're going to do the old-fashioned bada-bing, bada-boom, scroll it through, pick a team, play for that team, and uh, we're going to be going as a quarterback because that's what your boy played in high school. Um, I had a pretty big arm, so we're going to show after kind of the, the making of Jeff Millennial in this episode, and then perhaps we get in maybe some reps, and uh, we'll leave it off getting into some first game action for the next episode. So here we go. Are you guys ready to figure out what team Jeff Millennial is playing for? Do you? Are you? Okay, here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close my eyes and just keep pushing, 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 and I'm going to count to 10, and then I'm going to stop. Are you guys ready? So I've been scrolling through here. I have no idea who it is. Okay, right. I'm going to close my eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I'm getting excited for this one. Eight, nine, and ten. Okay. I am a Carolina Panther. So... Um, no, we will not be playing as that. We're going to change up the role here. We're going to be going in as a player. Uh, we're going to create this player here. We're going to start off as a rookie. Um, so I took a quick peek at these beforehand. So better accuracy, field general, and arm strength, but not very mobile. Now, I was a mobile quarterback, but I had a pretty strong arm. So for me, 62 to 65 speed is probably fast enough. I mean, I wasn't, you know, running past guys like wide receivers. Let's put it that way. So strong arm QB. Here's some potential, but you know what? I was pretty good accuracy in short and medium throws. I wasn't just a deep ball guy. Uh, scrambler doesn't make sense. I didn't have the kind of speed like 79 to 86, so not necessarily going that route. And then of course, West Coast QB, short passes to set up big plays on play action. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. I probably could look this route, but uh, you know, I I'm feeling more so like when I was on the field, I definitely felt that field general quarterback. So we're going to make that. Now, where do we fit into the whole mix here? So... Your boy Jeff, you know, was an early round draft pick. So that's where we're going. We're going to quick develop because we want to see him get into action as soon as possible. So you guys ready to create Jeff Millennial now in his Madden look? I certainly am. I'm pretty excited to see what this is going to turn out to be. We haven't done one of these in a while. So here we go. Jeff. Going into some last name details right now. You guys know that last name. Millennial. Going to really, really be curious to see what this man looks like in Carolina Blue. So Jeff Millennial, position quarterback. What number will Jeff Millennial be rocking with this team? So these apparently the only numbers available. Um, definitely not two. Uh, definitely got to go QB, obviously, number. So seven is available. That's Big Ben. Obviously, I'm a big fan. Uh, they don't have my classic 21. I'm not going to wear a crazy number as a QB let's keep it pretty traditional so if I had to pick out of the ones that are currently here I would definitely be wearing number seven um, I am right-handed if I had to pick a college uh, where would Jeff Millennial go to college so this is a great question so so they got California they got Calgary how do they have Calgary um, so seemingly they have some potential Canadian places. I saw Calgary, Western Ontario. Okay, they have Ontario. That might not be too bad of an option. What else do we got here? 
I mean, if they have Ontario, that's not a bad choice. They got Tulsa, Troy. Um, what else? They got TCU, St. Mary's, St. Francis, Southern Cal. Uh, they got a lot of options here. I got to say, I'm pretty impressed with how in-depth they got here. They got Queens, Pittsburgh, Penn, Ole Miss, Oregon, Ottawa. So definitely not Ottawa. Uh, nothing here really standing out for a place I would be going. So, you know what? Um, since we are from Ontario, Toronto, uh, they got Montreal University too, eh? Unreal. Why don't they got like Toronto? What is this? What if I played for University of Toronto? I know it's not really a, a football school, so probably doesn't count that much, but they got Queens. Like, they got a bunch of, you know, pretty big name schools. So, I'm quite surprised that they don't have like U of T. But again, they're not really so much a, uh, a football school. So, yeah, I think um, our best bet, let's go to Western Ontario. We will represent that team. Bup, 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 bup. Western Ontario, perfect. Let's continue to push forward here. So, appearance. Um, so, seeing as how I'm about six feet, if I had to put me down as a QB, I'd say... 6'4 is probably a pretty good size. Let's say we want to make sure we're good, uh, good size here. So age, we're going to be coming in as the lowest at 20. We want to be, um, you know, pretty, pretty well uh, as a rookie coming in, a really good youngster here with some talent. Um, weight wise, we want to be 6'4. Let's cut some meat on us. I think 229 is probably a good healthy weight for us. Um, looking into the skin tone and face. Um, well, we are Italian, so we definitely got a little bit of a darker complexion. Um, definitely not feeling that one. Maybe this one here. Yeah, it's pretty solid. Uh, select the face now. What kind of looks like your boy? So maybe number 10. 10 looks probably, I'd say, relatively close to us if I had to kind of pick and choose through here. Um, just based off face. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to go... Actually, 10, maybe not even that much. I, I got to take a second peek here. You know what? Why not? Let's just go number 10. That's going to probably be pretty close. Uh, chest size and all this business. I mean, this stuff I'm not really too crazy into. I think, obviously, we're going to we're gonna up our boy here. We, we hit that gym. We hit that gym good. Uh, looking pretty solid. Chest size. Let's, let's prop that a little bit, making them look good. Belly size. Uh, we do hit the gym, so obviously we want to make sure we're pretty ripped. Uh, rear size. You need some buttocks. We do do our squats. So let's get that out there a little bit. Thigh size will up. Calf size will up. We're going to make him a pretty sturdy guy. I mean, he's going to be battling out some, some decent guys here. So um, that's looking good. Equipment. This is where the fun starts now. So the helmet type. What kind of helmet does your boy want to be wearing here? So um, we got the Redell 360. That one doesn't look too bad. The Speed Flex. I don't like that I'm so far away from the guy's face. Like when I'm working on these, I kind of want to make sure I can see what I'm looking at here. Um, no, that one's not not looking too good. I'm trying to find a one here that I would say I would definitely pick as the option. The Redell Revolution, that looks pretty classic. Uh, so the Speed Flex is not bad. No, nope, that's definitely not it. The Zenith, no, definitely not my style. The Riddell 2K, now it looks too old school. So lots of options here, but which one more so really is the kind of look that we'd go with. So maybe the Revolution. Yeah, let's go with the Revolution. Uh, so they got the two bar. I definitely don't like the two bar look. Um, three bar single. Nope, the three bar linebacker, robot. Uh, the robot two. Yeah, I'm not really liking a lot of these, to be quite honest. The full cage two, that's that's no thanks. The full cage three, like they're looking too much like linebackers and stuff right now. That's definitely not what we're looking into. Uh, the three bar single looks pretty good. Yeah, let's do the three bar single. Uh, why not? Let's throw a visor on there for Jeff Millennial. You know he wears it in most of the sports he plays. Let's get a dark visor on that baby. Uh, face marks, now we're good. Neck pad, not a neck pad guy. I have to say, yeah, don't like the neck pad look. Pad height, um, no, we'll keep it pretty low. You know, quarterbacks like to have their space. The pad size, no, keeping it pretty pretty simple. 
uh, sleeves. They got the standard long uh, sleeveless. Nah, we're going to keep it standard. Uh, back plate. Do you want the back plate? Uh, so this is normal. And that's none. Yeah, let's get that back plate in there. We want to make sure he's well protected from getting crushed. Uh, flak jacket. Yeah, you definitely want to get that in there. Make sure he's getting no, uh, no potential injuries here. So now we look into the sleeves. Um, I've never really necessarily been a sleeve guy per se. Um, I'd probably say... Yeah, see, I don't do undershirts. Um, I'd be more so from a sleeve perspective, so probably not putting anything on this arm. Uh, my right arm, I definitely would put a sleeve. So let's do maybe the, no, it's quarter sleeve, quarter sleeve white. Uh, definitely not undershirt. Yeah, let's do a full sleeve, team color. No, let's do the secondary. Secondary really pops. I like that. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, left elbow, arm wrap. Nah, none of that stuff. Don't need any elbow pads. Yeah, maybe the sweatbands. Yeah, sweatband looking pretty solid. Uh, full black, why not? Actually, nope, thin team color, medium black. Yeah, full black. Full team color, full secondary color. Yeah, you know what? I like that better. Let's do that. Uh, we're going to leave that left wrist. So the wrist is typically on my left side. That is where I would put uh, the plays. Team color, wrist light. Tape wrist max. They got a lot of great options. I have to say, I'm very impressed at how in depth this goes. So let's go uh, the coach in black. Uh, we're going to remove this coach team color. This side, we are going to put nothing, leave it nice and bare. Um, left hand, we're going to put maybe some gloves on. Got a little Big Ben action here. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's do the glove on just the left hand. Um, and then we'll leave our throwing hand okay. Hand warmer. Yeah, why not? Let's put that on. I've always been a big fan of those. Uh, the towel. Yep, I like the towel look. Thigh pads, Nike, regular. Yeah, let's keep it the Nike. Uh, knee pads. We'll throw those Nike too. Let's keep pretty consistent. Um, the ankles. Nah, I'm not really feeling the tape job. Let's leave that. Sock height. We got standard. We got, yeah, oh yeah. We're going the low all day. Like that look a lot. Uh, the shoes, I do like the Nike Vapors. Like I gotta say, those look pretty solid. Uh, those look like soccer shoes. Vapor Untouchable, Vapor Elites. Ooh, I don't like those at all. Uh, the Untouchable Pros. Oh, those look pretty nice. The Vapor Untouchable 2s. Yeah, let's leave those. I'm a big fan of that. So let's continue pushing on here. So QB style, the Classic 7, Classic 9, Classic 10. Yep, let's leave it at a Classic 7. Um, and then here's our overall, our numbers all around here. So accept and continue. There is Jeff Millennial getting ready to start this bad boy. So um, are you guys ready to get into the action here? I am actually super stoked to see what this is going to bring to the table. Um, you know, I haven't done, like I said, one of these in a long while. Uh, I know you guys had voiced some interest in seeing what this might look like with Jeff Millennial at the helm. So uh, we are heading right now into preseason week one. Perhaps we'll get a couple reps in here to get us ready for, you know, what's to come in this new series with Jeff Millennial. And then, uh, of course, I think we should try and keep this up at a one episode per week so that we keep with the schedule, right? So we'll go week one is one week of uh, an episode, uh, week two, so on and so forth. Making sure we're mixing, mixing up those uh, episodes and what we're going to be playing. So that'll be pretty fun. I'm actually excited to see what happens there. So... It's simulating through the week right now. There's Jeff Millennial kicking on his phone. Uh, set the season goal. So am I expected to do this? I feel like I, it's probably not something for me to be doing. Oh, okay. So this is for me personally. What is Jeff Millennial going to do on the field? Um, so this is what their expectation is of me. So passing yards, passing touchdowns. You know, I think 2,000 yards is pretty good. I think that's a good conservative look. Or maybe 3,500. 3,500 is not bad, but we are a rookie though. So let's say 2,000 pass yards. That is what we're expecting to do this season. 
Um, and then now, okay, so actually because we simmed, we are looking into our first game of the season here against the Cowboys. You know what, guys? I'm going to just go right into it. Why not? Let's simulate the training. Let's let that take care of its own thing. Jeff Millennial getting into some action here with the Panthers. Are, are we getting the start here over Cam Newton's? Like, is that what's happening? They told Cam, you know what? Sorry, uh, your time is done. Jeff Millennial's the guy now. Um, and our game goes here. So get the home win, three passing touchdowns, and two rushing touchdowns is the expectation here. So they're expecting a lot of offense from us. And we are playing a Dallas team who, of course, as we know, um, they're not bad. I mean, they're healthy now. You got a Zeke Elliott. You got, uh, of course, uh, Dak Prescott. And here they are going through people. So we got the older Julius Peppers. Uh, they got Demarcus Lawrence. We got a woozy against James Bradbury. Again, we are older. So this Carolina team really is not one that I'd say is set for success. And he's starting... We officially know now that he is getting the start. So let's see. Let's get out here. Let's give Caffrey some ball action. And let's see if we can start planting some seeds here to get this game ready to go. So the first snap of Jeff Leno's career. And he lets Caffrey take the run for three yards. Let's get going. So Jeff Leno here. What do we think? What do we think? Maybe a nice mid-draw, curl combo. I like some slants. Slants are a nice easy pass to get into things. So Greg Olson, obviously a good padding uh, tight end here. Just good for dump passes, exactly like he provided to Cam Newton. So yep, a little dump pass there to Olson. He takes it. That's going to get a couple. Jeff completes pass number one of his career in the NFL. And we're third and five here. So there you go. Jeff Millennial drafted first round, second overall. Looking like a stud. Pretty excited to see that. Let's see if maybe the little slip screen here will get us a nice five yards Hopefully our guys are able to, to protect us here. I really don't know how well the line hits here in Carolina. The dump pass there. Uh, does McCaffrey get blocks? Not looking like it. So we actually got some minus yardage there. So we're two for two for minus one yards. Not exactly how we want it to start. But no turnovers is the big thing we're looking for. So adjust the super speed. We want it to go fast. So Dallas puts up the field goal. And Jeff Millennial come back out here for his second drive. Hopefully getting some positive yardage here because not looking too solid right now. So I like that little play with Caffrey. Maybe Funches breaks out there. We'll see if the safety, so the safety's looking off. We're going to take the quick pass here out for McCaffrey. Hopefully he uh, breaks something out there. Did he get some yardage? Nope. Back to the line of scrimmage for no yards. Jeff is still 3 for 3, but with some minus yardage. McCaffrey being the one who's providing the minuses. So let's see if we can finally complete some passes on the other side of the line of scrimmage. So... One thing I can say about this Carolina team is I am not sold on the receiver core, especially after they get uh, Calvin Benjamin leaving the team. So that one hits Funches, hopefully with some positive yardage. Only a few there. So four for four for one yard. And I just feel like our guys aren't breaking out here to get some yardage downfield. So we're trying to be patient here, but it just generally looks like this Cowboys team might be stronger. And this is where we might suffer here playing for Carolina. So... You know, we're, we're playing for this team here. We got to hope they're successful. They toss that one in there. The fullback, oh, incomplete. Can't grab it. Almost battled there for interception. We try to put one on. We're trusting a fullback. Maybe not always the best choice. But Dallas comes down, and they score. So a 10-0 lead here for Dallas, almost at the end of the first. Four total yards versus 145. So you can definitely see that uh, this is not working out in our favor right now as we get things started. So... Uh, Dallas looking like they might be coming out here with a pretty, pretty uh, heavy blitz. Uh, looking to hit up, oh, and that's a dropped potential interception there. That pass not getting out fast enough to Greg Olson. So we get lucky with one there. Four for six on the day for one yard. We, we got to start getting a rhythm here, guys. So let's see if we can start pushing forward here, seeing if we can get guys open. Uh, but right now, this Dallas team is just absolutely taking it to us. They're getting in the backfield. They're starting to open up here. Uh-oh, Jeff's in some trouble. Can't throw it away. And that's a massive sack for Demarcus Lawrence. Ain't no way we're going to run out there. The pocket collapsed. Third and 25. I mean, right now, we're just we're just saying a prayer. We're saying a prayer. I would really wish we got <laughs> picked by a better team here. But uh, that's going to end the, the first inning. Going off the second inning here, what can Jeff Millennial do in the second inning here? So he's got one inning under his belt. 
I'm saying innings right now. That's how far behind I am. We mean quarters. Quarters, quarters, quarters. Caffrey can't catch one there. And we're five for seven of one yard going into the second quarter. See, we're playing baseball before. We have innings on the mind. We're so... Oh my gosh. 17 nothing score here. Wow. This is not... Uh, not kind of what we were expecting in this first game here. So let's see if we can get Smith open. Um, there we go. Oh, and a protection is just not there. That's Lawrence getting in the backfield again. Getting to Jeff Millennial before I can even get the throw off. We don't have a lot of positive yards here, guys. Not a lot of positives coming into game one here. Uh, this team is not uh, able to stack up here against Dallas. Like This defense is just running rampant against us right now. Taking the quick toss there. That's going to potentially go. Smith with a nice spin move. That's going to get back a bunch of yards. So 6 of 8 for 18 here. Let's see if we can keep this ball moving here. We're going to go bench switch. See if we can maybe hit some outside corners. Olsen's got a quick out. Funches has a quick out. Let's see who's going to get off the line fast enough. That's a quick one out to Funches. He's going to get some positive yardage. And that's a first down. 7 of 9 for 23. Let's keep going here. we got the two-minute drive here to end this quarter. Um, looking like we got to really move the routes here. Get guys intertwining. Um, looking for, boom, hitting square there. Moore's going to get one. He's getting some positive yardage. That's another big gain for Jeff Millennial. Let's go, baby. A little bit at a time. The mesh is working. How about a little PA cross here? We're going to go through the air heavy. Um, so Smith looks like he might have a nice little break out there. Let's keep that in mind. Oh, breaking to the outside. Jeff tries to put one on him. That's a big catch. Positive yardage again, baby. 9 of 11 for 68. Jeff's starting to get a rhythm here. I like this. Uh, drive corner. Um, let's see if we can kind of get one here. Olsen's running a nice little route back around the middle. If the linebackers open up here, this might work out. Oh, Jeff trying to toss one. Oh, that's a fumble. That's a fumble. The lineman gets back on it. Thank the Lord. Um, I had my eyes downfield. That wasn't taking a peek there. So that one's going to hurt us. Second and 30 now on the fumble. Uh, let's run a little play action boot. Maybe we can catch something down the middle. Uh, Samuel might be open. Bayless is coming around. Uh, Thomas might look okay. But based off the lineup here, this, this, uh, this might not look good. Trying to throw it up there. Oh, he just gets a hand back on that. Third and 30 here. Um, let's just see. Hopefully we can get some points on the board. I'm more so looking here just to make sure we can get a field goal out of this. So let's get some part of positive yardage. Uh, Caffrey down the middle there. If this guy can get catches in the open field, he's really going to be our guy. So he's trying to run. They got double coverage on Caff. Trying to throw it down the sideline. Smith makes the grab. That's going to get some positive yardage. Oh, and Smith is down with an injury right now. Torrey Smith, our big receiver, is down. That is not good news. But we get the field goal here. It's a 17-3 gain here. And Jeff Millennial starting to pick it up. So let's hope Smith gets back out. There's Torrey. That's a good news. Uh, Funch is looking like he might open up in some backfield area there. Uh, so S Lee drops back. Oh, gets the dump pass off to McCaffrey before taking the hit. And Caffrey gets positive yardage. So back in the no huddle here. Let's keep working the time. We got uh, only one timeout here. Uh, so we got to make some quick passes. Let's just hope we can get some points on the board. Uh, Olsen, that's a quick pass to him. That's positive yardage again. So Jeff Millennial hits 100 yards. That's good news for us right now. We need this. Uh, levels corner. Olsen again, always a safe look. Uh, Smith, I'd like to see run more of a slant on the inside. So if we see something open up, that's kind of the safe bet I'm taking. Boom, there it is for Smith. That's a first down. Uh, let's run up. I'm looking to spike it, but maybe not. I like what I see here again. Let's run the same play. Maybe we get something open here. Caffrey running to the outside. He's going to get that one. He's got time and space, and that's when he's dangerous. He can't get to the outside, though. We're going to run up and try and spike this ball. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go. 19 seconds left on the clock here. Jeff, spike that ball. Hut, spike. There it is. 15 seconds left on the clock. One time out here in the second quarter. Third and seven. Okay, we need... I want something a little tricky here. Maybe a quick slot out. Maybe this opens up for us here. I'd love to get to the run game, but right now, I mean, 17-3, and we need some points here. So let's see. Maybe Smith cutting back across here might do us some good. Just maybe. Is Smith going to get open? There he comes running across. Oh, Jeff tossed up a melon. That's a bad, bad throw on my part. 
Um, that was the panic for them ripping to the line. So hopefully we can get the field goal here, make it a 17-6 game, which they do, Graham Gano. But Dallas just comes back down and puts another score on the board. So we're forced here to get something, something quick to get back in this game. Uh, we are not getting any run game going right now just because we're so bloody far behind. Um, guys are opening up here. Square's calling for it. That's nice and open for Funchess. He gets, that's a big play for Jeff Millennial there. 15 of 19, 144 yards. Um, this is some rookie action here. here. What can I say? Uh, we don't got much time to run the ball, but God, let's hope we can open something up here because right now this is not looking great. Um, let's hope we can get some lead blocks here for Caffrey. Maybe he can break out. Uh, nope, not getting any blocks there, but two rushes for five. 324 left. I'm going to keep trying to get this going here. Uh, play action, draw, shot. Maybe we can catch him. Maybe Funch is going to get open here. Oh, they fake it. They fake and bake. I see a nice opening there. Funch just makes the grab. And that's a big gain there. A woozy also goes down for Dallas, which is massive for us right now. He's been in the corner that's been a pain in our butt. Uh, so we're pushing that red zone here. Opening up for some play action potential. Greg Olson, safe hands. Um, let's see if we can get, so Funchess is going to cut across. I'd like to see Smith also running a route there. So let's see. Trying to throw it in there. Oh, that's a pick to Lee. That's a rookie mistake for Jeff Millennial. Sean Lee with the pick. Ugh. Try to squeeze that one in there. Not enough arm strength. Not enough accuracy right now. Only 81. And that's going to hurt us big because we needed points on the board there. Um, so let's look at the Mountain Panther dig. This has got some nice uh, cross routes coming across. Perhaps we can get back downfield here um, and get some points on the board before the third quarter ends. I mean, we're, uh, we're not out of this game by any means, but we got to start putting points in. Oh my God. Like our blocking is just atrocious. Charlton gets to the back again, hits me from behind, and the pocket just collapsed in no time flat. Um... Do we look a slip screen right now? Why not? Let's try something here. If Caffrey can, again, get to some open space, that's when magic happens because that guy is just super slippy. And he might find... Boom! Little dump pass there. Caffrey might have some blocks here. Okay, he breaks the tackle, gets through a few, and gets the positive yardage. Another injury here for Dallas. And third and six here coming up for our Carolina team. What can we do? What potentially opens us up? So we can look for a deep attack. You know what? Clearance out. Let's look for a quick couple passes that might get us some yardage quick, but then also some safe passes to see maybe we can just take a first down if we can get nice and open here. So, oh, I had circle on the go. Why can't I get protection for more than five seconds at a time, man? We really need this O-line to get better. Uh, luckily, our defense holds out again. Fourth quarter here. Can Jeff do something? Let's see. So we got more running a quick out. Uh, I want Smith. Smith running these quick little inside uh, slants has been super successful. Let's get the quick out for Caffrey. Again, one-on-one. -on -one, I'm taking that guy all day. He beats a few, gets the first down there. So 18 of 23, 192 yards, and one INT. We got to get on the board here with a touchdown. That's kind of what we need right now. So I'm trying to call an audible. There we go. Uh, I don't plan on calling a fake spike. Uh, you know what? We're going to have to call a timeout here. It's so unfortunate. We got to call the timeout. It went into fake spike mode. I'm not entirely sure why. And now we're finally back into choosing a play here. So we got the play action boot. That hasn't necessarily worked for us well. Uh, the shot wheel, the stick nod, bench... You know what, let's do the double slants coming inside. That's been pretty safe. Um, our receivers, I mean, I just feel like they're not beating the corners right now. But perhaps we can get Funchess on the inside or Smith on the inside. And again, just a safe dump pass if we need one. Um, trying to look to get to the open man there. Funchess makes the grab and that's a first down. 210 yards for Jeff Millennial right now. See, we get a little protection and Jeff is finding his throws, baby. The confidence is coming up right now. So let's see, what do we got here? What kind of options do we have? Obviously, we can't be looking to throw any picks here. We're back in the red zone, and we have to come out and do something here. So Smith is running a quick... I don't like that, though. I want him to start getting to end zone. Same thing here for Funchess. I want to see guys finding their way in. 
So we're making a couple of adjustments. Oh, oh, and Jeff just gets destroyed again. No protection. That puts us back out of the red zone. My lord. Okay, we're going to try a 6-8-9 hook. See if we can pull something here out of the backfield. Because trying to throw downfield right now is an absolute mess. Like, we're just not getting protection to let plays open up. Uh, Caffrey, quick toss in there. And my lord, what a quick pick that was. So what we said we couldn't do, we ended up doing anyways. The second pick near the red zone. That turns out Dallas uh, making us pay for that one. So let's see now. 237 left. Can we at least get one score on the board here to try and pick up something to look into next week? And right now, I mean, I'm just not seeing guys get open here. Like we just, the coverage is atrocious. There we go. R1 taking the run. Jeff opens up and Thomas is going. That's a big play right now for us. I'm pretty sure I stayed behind the line of scrimmage. That's 254 yards now. I mean, we're definitely field generating that one. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy we made that happen. Okay, I want to call the audible, but it looks like it's going into fake spike again, which is not what I want to do. Um, you know what? Screw it. Let's go fake spike. Why not? They're thinking we're probably trying to spike it before the two-minute warning. No guy. Oh, oh, oh my lord. And my left tackle again cannot protect anybody. My lord. Like this is going to be a serious problem all season. If I can't even get enough protection. Just to let my route, you know, get into where it needs to be. So we're about to get killed again. That's a quick toss for Smith. He makes the catch. It's at least positive yardage. Third and nine now. Okay, we're rushing up here. Uh, it's going to fake spike again. Okay. Wasting the clock here again, unfortunately. Oh, I want to get a score here, guys. Nothing here means more than getting a score. Because that's going to build confidence going into week two. Obviously, this, this Dallas defense has been all over us all game. We haven't had any protection. Now we're in, like, just no, no protection again here. That one gets across for Funchess. He's fighting. Can't get forward to the first down. 269 yards. We're going for it all. We're going for it all. We're going to go into fake spike mode again. I don't think Dallas is going to buy it, but whatever. Um, calling the audible. You just want something quick. Yep, fake spike. Caffrey's lined up a tight end right now, which just goes to show you how ridiculous this play actually is. There's the fake spike. There's the quick one out to Caffrey. Did he get in? He gets the first down, I, I believe. Nope, he did not. He did not make it. That is probably going to end the game for this one. So, Jeff Millennial in game number one here with this Carolina team. Completes 79% of his passes in 269 yards, but two picks. And, you know, that's just not going to be good enough um, for us to win games going forward. So, let's lick our wounds. Um, let's see who we're playing in game number two. We're going to have to throw a touchdown pass here. Um, I felt like for the most part, we were pretty responsible. Um, but, you know, picks are going to hurt us always. That's two picks in the red zone. And that's a loss there. So, let's jump on over to next week. We got the Falcons, who are not going to be an easy, easy game either. So, as we sim up here, guys, let me close this one out for the episode. And that's episode number one of Jeff Millennial Madden 19, be a pro if you will, uh, career mode. So I hope you guys are loving this. If you liked the episode, go hit that like button as hard as you possibly can because I'm going to keep this bad boy going. Um, like I mentioned, we're going to try and keep this to one episode per week like a weekly, weekly you know, game. If you guys want to see more, leave those comments below. Let me know. Hit that like button as hard as you possibly can. Make sure you hit subscribe. Turn notifications on. And leave the fire comments. Do all that goodness you guys always do. Because you guys are amazing at that. Um, I think I'm really excited to see where this goes. Um, obviously, Jeff Millennial now touching the field in all sports. Which has been super fun. Maybe he touches it in FIFA? I mean, we played Be A Pro Online with Jordan and, uh, and Austin. Doing some online pro clubs. Shoutouts to Jordan. Little Jordan Nichman sweater here. You can go pick up this t-shirt on his Redbubble site. So go check him out, Twitchy Niche, and shout out to our boy Austin as well, Werewolf PVE. Go check them. Uh, two really close friends of ours who also stream, who also have YouTube channels, play similar games. Great guys. Go check them out. Um, 
down below in the description for us as always guys you're gonna find all of our social media pages uh, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. Make sure you're following. We're really pushing to get that as a more uh, legitimate thing for us now. We're trying to stay with it. Open communication, post more often. Um, so you're going to want to stay with us there. Um, you know, you can go check out as well. In the below, we have our promo codes for you guys. Clutch Chairs, Insane Labs. The two products that we use, we endorse them because we love them. We were consumers who converted into partners, which is a great news story. And uh, some promo codes down below for you guys to save money because what else can we do for you besides help you out in that way and give you great products at cheaper prices. With that being said, cheaper prices, go check out official MMC merchandise at our Redbubble store, also below in the link. Um, and you can also catch it up top where I usually put it. Um, go check it out. You can put three logos on any type of merchandise, a wide array of products, cheap prices, um, great quality products, it ships international. I mean, I don't know what else more you could ask for. If you do get some stuff, make sure you send a picture of us repping it. We have a couple of you who have bought it but haven't done it, so please do it. Our boy Andrew is going to show some love to you on our social media page because you deserve that. When you rep the brand, you're part of the family. As you subscribe, you're part of the MMC fam, and nothing means more to us to show love back to you guys when you're so proud to rep our merch. That means the world to us. So guys, this is where I leave you. I've been rambling on because I've been feeling so, I mean, happy about this game, but not happy about how it ended. So as I go to lick my wounds and get prepared for Jeff Millennial's week two against the Atlanta Falcons, I'm going to leave you guys with, let's not keep it picking. No more picking. I'll catch you guys on the next one.